The Peugeot 106 is a city car produced by French automaker Peugeot between 1991 and 2003. Launched in September 1991, it was Peugeot's entry-level offering throughout its production life, and was initially sold only as a three-door hatchback, with a five-door hatchback joining the range early in 1992. For the first year of production, the 1.0 and 1.1 petrol engines came with a carburetor, but were replaced by fuel-injected engines from the end of 1992, as a result of EEC emissions regulations. Topic: Phase 1, 1991 to 1996. The 10 line of Peugeot Superminis had commenced in 1972 with the launch of the 104, one of the first modern European Superminis. The 104 was effectively replaced by the Peugeot 205 in 1983, but remained in production for some markets until 1988. The 106 was introduced as a three-door hatchback in continental Europe in September 1991, and in the UK two months later. The initial engine range had 1.0, 1.1 and 1.4 petrol engines, as well as a 1.5 diesel. The early 1.0 and 1.1 S were carburetted, but were replaced with fuel injection after a year due to EC emissions requirements. The 106's successor, the Peugeot 107, along with rebadged versions, Citroën C1 and Toyota Igo, was launched two years later in June 2005, as a joint venture with Toyota. Topic: Phase Two, 1996 to 2003. It was updated in July 1996, with changes including the introduction of side impact bars and availability of driver and passenger airbags for the first time, with the new 1.6 GTI joining the range as the spiritual successor to the hugely popular and highly regarded 205 GTI, which had been discontinued in 1994. In January 1996, the Peugeot 106 also formed the basis for the near-identical looks and size Citroën Saxo. Topic: <laughs> High-performance variants. Marketed as having fewer frills, more thrills. The rally version had trademark steel wheels painted white. Power steering, central locking, and electric windows were omitted to keep the weight down to 825 kg. There were pre- and post-facelift versions of the 106 Rally known to enthusiasts as S1 and S2 models, with the latter having a 103 bhp 1.6 litre TU5J2 engine in place of the original high-revving Rally-specific 1.3 100 bhp TU2J2 engine fitted to pre-facelift cars. Both the S1 and S2 models were fuel injected, employing Magneti Morelli multi point fuel injection systems. The S1 Rally were designed as a homologation special to compete in the 1300cc Rally class. It featured a four cylinder, eight valve, high compression engine with an aggressive cam profile designed to come on song between 5400 and the 7200 revolutions per minute redline. This engine coupled to a short ratio 5-speed gearbox made the 1.3 more of a sprinter than a cruiser. 70 miles per hour on the motorway was a noisy 4000 revolutions per minute in fifth gear, but if you had enough tarmac, the little 1.3 would redline in top gear at 115 miles per hour. The 106 was competitive in racing, but also made a practical small family car. All cars had steel wheels, and rally decals and seat coverings featuring a three-color flash, which again varied between early and late cars. With facelift came new top model named Peugeot 106 GTI with 1.6-liter 16-valves engine that produce 120 horsepower. It came with new exterior body kit and new wheels. On some European markets it was badged S16 or Rally. Topic: Electric version. In 1995, Peugeot launched an electric-powered version of the 106, called the 106 Electric. This was offered in a number of European countries, including France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Norway, and the United Kingdom. 
The electric powertrain was developed and built by French engineering company Hulies. The car used nickel cadmium battery technology manufactured by Saft Group SA, had a top speed of 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour, and had an official range of 100 kilometers, 62 miles. Despite the high price of the vehicle, Peugeot anticipated demand for around 15,000 to 20,000 Peugeot 106 electrics each year, with an expected total production run of 100,000 vehicles. In the end, only 6,400 Peugeot 106 electrics were sold between 1995 and 2003, most purchased by the French administration. Petrol engines Topic Diesel engines Topic Special editions As with most Peugeot models at the time, there were many special editions of the 106 offered between 1991 and 2003. 